Are you thinking about getting into Kirk? That's True Seeker's newest launch that's coming very, very soon, if not tomorrow. Well, I'm going to give you the top three reasons I am not getting in that project. And that's going to be at the very end. So I'm also going to talk very briefly about the projects I am in and how they did this last week and a new project that I got into this week that I've seen a lot about. I researched it. I'm in it. This is not a review of that project. We'll do that later this week. But right now, let's just talk about the projects I'm in. Then we'll get to reasons why I'm not going into Kirk, the newest Truth Seekers launch. Let's get going. All right. So first up is Green Figures. Green Figures has been a performer for me for the last six weeks. Um, this week, right now, we'll pull up my little handy dandy spreadsheet. Let's pull that over. So right now, Green Figures, let me roll this up so you don't get ahead of yourself. Green Figures, I have $383 in there, so not a lot of money. Um, the reward for this week was $17.23. That's a 4.49% return. Um, so that is not bad. I've been in this for six weeks. As you can see right here, here's all my um, return so far has been over $100. I have $17.23 sitting there from this week. I have not pulled out yet. Um, but if you look at the profits earned, again, six weeks, here are my profits. 13, 24, 9, 22, 18, um, 11, 17. Now, this doesn't mean it's going to continue to return this way. This is a real project based on live tra or trades from Forex. You can go to the MyFX book if you want to check this out to see their track record. They are priv their trading privilege has been verified and you get live updates. So you can actually see in live time uh, their trades, summary of their trades. You know, if you want to look hourly, daily, uh, risk of ruin, this is a great tool. So it's it's been a good performer for me. If you're looking to get in, just remember past results don't mean the future is going to be the same way. I'm not a financial advisor. Use your own um, research, do your own research. Use your own mind to say, am I going to get in this or not? If you do get in this, I have a referral code down below. It's been good for me. That doesn't mean it's going to be great for you. My strategy here is to ROI and then compound. So once I get my money out, I'm happy to compound and leave my other money in there for, um, for to get more returns going forward. So that's it. It's a simple project. It's not complex. You put money in in BUSD. They pay you out in BUSD and they're using your money to trade Forex as far as I can tell. Uh, again, six weeks in, pretty good returns. Probably the best, most stable for the last six weeks. I can't promise that's gonna go on. All right, next up. Next up is Wolf Capital. So Wolf Capital, I, I have such a tiny amount in here because I was just testing it because it was a little complicated for me. I'm not as fast as some of you others out there. So I put $75 in. That 75 because of the staking cost became 65 or 73 became 65. I've got zero rewards out of here. They're changing some things up. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna spend much more time on this at all. Next up is EasyBot. So EasyBot's been a good performer. EasyBot, for those of you who aren't in EasyBot, you actually um, hold the funds in your exchange. So right now I have money in the Binance US exchange. That money is now $3,013. And there's an API, EasyBot is an API software app that sends a signal to your exchange to make the buys and sells based on an algorithm that they created. It's really a Martingale DCA bot. It, but these Martingale DCA bot. If you don't know what that is, I just did a video last week on a Martingale DCA bot. Check it out. Um, it is risky, but I have had no losing, no losing trade since August the 25th of 2022. That doesn't mean I don't have money stopped in here until it can get to a point where it can sell out of it. But last week, as you can say, I had a meager, modest $20 on my 3013. Let me pull my handy dandy um, spreadsheet out of here. Easy bot. So 3013. You can see the difference between this and this is the, the, the valuation of the coins. So as those coins go up, this is going to go up. Um, my trading, you know, again, I put USDT in there it buys and sells crypto with my USDT. And then when it needs to, you know, it'll sell it and then money will go into my USDT and then I'll use that to buy the next next buy. So I had a 0.6% return, 0.6% return. You know, if you're really, really looking at overall stable returns, this is not bad. But the week before I had 3.2, 1.4, I'm really shooting and targeting about a 1% per week because that's a 52% return. In the real world, that's a really strong return. So that's what I'm shooting for. You know, when you have these great weeks, that's awesome. 
Again, I have a referral code. That is, EasyBot is by referral only. And I do have a Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord um, to talk about EasyBot, successes and failures, tips and tricks, and all those things. It is by referral only. I do have a referral code below. I know it sounds like I'm shilling referral codes. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. If you want to get in, great. If you don't, it's completely and entirely up to you, but I think you knew that. All right, very quickly, very quickly, I'm going to talk about a new project I'm in. I saw some of the YouTubers that I respect get into this project called Kyopi, and I watched it for a couple weeks, and I read about it. I, I you know, did some research, and what they do is they take your money. You can put it in any of these different forms of crypto, which I put in Bitcoin. I put in about $540 worth of Bitcoin. And on my very first day of trading, which was this past Friday, it had a 2.46% return, which ended up to be about $12.68. That's in one day. And they trade these stocks. Now, could they be fabricating this? And could this be a Ponzi? Absolutely. You know, I, I look at their trades. You know, you can look at their trades back to when they started. It's been around for a while. Yeah, they've been in this one for a while, back since January. That looks like even, okay. So they've been in this one for a while um, doing these trades. And while they can fabricate this each day, they can go in and say, oh yeah, we can find buy and sell prices that make sense to, to fit our narrative, to look make it look like we're give, doing real things and real returns. Um, that's a lot of work. I hope they're not doing that, but I'm going to try to run this for a little bit, see what happens. Again, I'm going to pull my profits out and um, until I ROI, then I'll look at keeping them in. That's just what I like to do. I'm a little bit less risky than some of you out there. But anyway, we're going to do a full review on Qopi. I think that's how you say it, Q-U-O-P-I, -Q -I, um, this coming week on a video. So watch out for that. Just wanted to give you a quick update on it. Let me just show you my handy dandy spreadsheet here. So Qopi, it's worth about, my Bitcoin's worth about $542. I had a 12.43% $12.43 return on Friday alone, one day. That's a 2.46% return in one day. That's good. I hope they can keep up with that. I hope it's not a Ponzi. A lot of hope going on here. All right, next up, as promised, I'm gonna tell you the three reasons I am not in True Seekers. And this is really simple. Let's start with the first, uh, the second project they launched. It is called Fathom started, you know, there's there a lot of hoopla. True Seekers supported this. I say supported it, they promoted it, told everyone about it and then gave up on them a couple weeks later. There was some dispute between the two founders. Don't know who's right or wrong. I'm not here to judge that. I am just gonna show you what's happened to Fathom. I am in Fathom. I started with $500. My $500 is worth 40. My returns are meager, if anything. And at this point, I'm just, I'm not gonna sell my $40 worth. I'm just gonna see what happens. Uh, but here's what happened so far. The coin has gone from, um, it's added some zeros. All right, not good. And so that's my number one reason. Number two, let's talk about Aviate. Aviate was a transparent bot staking um, protocol where you buy their token Aviate and they take your money and trade it with a trading bot. And they're gonna be very transparent. They are KYC, doxed. I don't know if they're doxed. I know they're KYC'd by True Seekers, audited, and they're gonna be super transparent. Well, there's very little transparency and even less rewards. You know, Joshua, who's the founder, you know, kind of every once in a while will come out with something, but it's almost like they're biding their time to, to people just forget about them and they go away because they've done, they have not, they are say they're working on bots, but they haven't shown any progress, any screenshots, anything of real substance or value that makes you go, I'm going to stay in this project. So no wonder people are leaving. Again, I put money in there. They promised an NFT that has not materialized. So as you can see, I'm not bitter. I'm just telling you facts. These are facts. Okay. Look me up. Um, there's some opinion in there, so make sure you can differentiate. Now, finally, the third reason I'm not in True Seekers is True Seekers. All right, so look at their coin. You bought, I bought two thousand dollars worth of Truth. I got an NFT, which they have done nothing with. That was to get you to buy a certain amount, which I'm finding out now. If you buy this amount, we're going to give you the NFT. The NFT is going to have some awesome stuff about it. Well, the NFT has done nothing. So True Seekers NFT has done nothing. Aviate's NFT has done nothing, but you buy the, they get you to buy those. So you buy enough where, you know, they have people um, aping in and buying these things. If I have made that mistake two times now, actually three, if you count Fathom and Aviate and True Seekers all together, 
I'm not going to make that mistake. Again, here's a true seekers coin that you had to buy. They're really good. They make you buy their coin. So they don't, if the coin value goes down and you sell it back, I, I don't really understand it. I just know that I lost um, more than 10 X in this project, which is not cool. All right. So three projects, one, two, three, shame on me, shame on me, shame on me. I am not getting in Kirk. You can't convince me that that project's gonna work because they're past performance. Now I say past performance isn't indicative of future results, but if the past performance is all poor, what do you think the future results are? This is my opinion, but I'm showing you facts. You can't deny the fact that this coin has gone down by 10 times, about 10 times. You can't deny the fact that AV8 has gone down by oh, four to five times. It started out at a dollar, it's now 22 cents. And anyone who bought their tokens has lost money. Same with Fathom, more than 10x down. You can't deny these facts. Now, if I messed up the facts, put it, please put it below or DM me or let me know. But these are the reasons I'm not going to Kirk. You can say, well, it's a real life use. I mean, I looked at their website, I researched and it's too bad because they might be a great project. It might be good for you, but it's not good for me. For those reasons, I'm out. That's all I got for this week. Again, QOP, new project, green figure, still doing well. EasyBot, still performing. I am not getting into Kirk, K-E-R-C. That's Truth Seekers is doing a launch, I believe. Just not going to do it. That's all I got. Hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.